This is my first attempt at de-rusting some old English scythe blades that have got very rusty from being stored in sheds for decades. This is a method using electrolysis, an electric current to take the last rust off. I've not tried this before so this is the first try. The first thing I need is a tub suitable length to take the full length of the blade. Into that I'm going to put a piece of scrap metal as the cathode, the positive electrode in the water which has got sodium carbonate as a conductant. The next job is to suspend the scythe blade in the liquid making sure that I don't have any metal contact between the, the blade that I want to de-rust and the cathode. So the blade is now connected as the anode. I need to top that up with water to submerge that. It's got three grams per litre of sodium crystals added into it. There we go. And then I need a battery charger on 12 volts to the cathode, the positive side. And the negative goes on to the connection, which is now going down to the blade, which is now the anode. The anode is going to shed irons and rust into the water, and that will migrate and positively towards the positive end and hopefully remove the rust. Just got to switch it on now. Okay, I'm ready to remove the blade from the bath. Give that clean up and see how it comes out. Just have a quick look at the positive cathode, see how that looks. Oh yes. Look at all that gungy crustiness. Even little stalagmites, like a little city of rust. A lot of this black coating will just come off with a scouring pad. Well, there we have Tyzak Works Sheffield. It's one of the advantages of this electrolysis method as it gets deep into the figures and the details and the crevices. This is the final stage of my rust removal experiments using electrolysis. This is actually an Italian blade that I treated in different sections with different rust protection products left out for a year to rust and now this is reversing the rusting by electrolysis. Now, take it out and see how that's progressed. See if I undo the damage I caused by leaving it out for a year to the elements. So it's cleaned the rust largely off the face of the blade and on the reverse face that was had a high level of rusting as it was constantly moist. We've now got the black deposit of ferric oxide in place of the orange rust. So I'm going to clean that off and see how it comes up. Very flex.